Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about five awesome VS Code extensions that you can start using right away. Let's have a look. The first extension that I want to talk about is Rapid API Client. Rapid API Client is a full featured HTTP client that lets you test and describe HTTP requests that you either create or consume. Once we install this extension, we get this shortcut on the left with which we can access the GUI of the Rapid API client. This is the usual layout that we have. On the left, there's a request and on the right, we have the response. We can choose different HTTP method that we want to use. Give it a body and header as usual. Click on send and it sends the request for us. Now this extension brings API testing to your favorite code editor. So you can test APIs without even switching tabs. I can create collections and send requests. Also, I can request for code snippets. Say I want to do this request using C Sharp. I can select that language from here. Choose the, choose the library that I want to use, say HTTP client, and then I can generate the code. So it generates that code for me. Along with the request snippet, I can also ask it to generate a model for the response. So this is the response we have here. Say I want to have a TypeScript model for it. I can just click here and it will generate the model. Another cool feature about this extension that I like is, say I have a piece of code from where I'm making any API request. I can just right click on that line of code and use this shortcut, Rapid API create new request, and it will create a request in Rapid API, which I can save and use. So this is my go-to application when it comes to testing APIs within Visual Studio Code. Next up, we have the live server extension. Now this one's already very famous. It lets you create a local development server with hot reloading feature for static as well as dynamic pages. So once we install this extension, uh, we can go to any static page. And we get this option here that says go live. So when I click on this, it will start the live server for me which will be a local development server. Now, any changes that I make to this page, say I add a H1 tag, and as soon as I change, as soon as I save this file, the changes will reflect in real time and you know, it will get reloaded also with the hot reloading feature. And even if I attach a file to it, say I create a style CSS here and attach it to the index HTML, So now any change that I make to the style CSS, they'll also get refreshed. So it tracks the related files also. So if you want to see it side by side, so as soon as I save this file, the live server updates it for me. So it saves you a lot of time in those refreshes and reloading the browser. The next cool extension that I want to talk about is Prettier. Now Prettier is awesome when you're working with a team because each member of the team can have their own style of writing code, but it makes a lot of sense for the complete code repo to be in a uniform style. With Prettier, we can enforce that. It's a simple code formatter that works with almost all the languages I know. So say I have a badly formatted file. Let's go to this client.js. I can open up the command palette and run the format document command from Prettier and it will format it for me. Similarly, if there's a badly formatted CSS, I can do the same thing and it will format it for me. It Prettier allows for a lot of configuration. We can configure it to format the file on save also, we can set up a pre-commit hook that whenever you are checking in your code, it has to be verified by Prettier. So that makes it a cool extension to use. Next one on my list is Code Runner. With Code Runner, you can run code snippet or code file 
of multiple programming languages from VS Code itself. So, say I have this file where I have the make ID function. I want to test just this function so I can select it and right click and hit run code. So I got this menu option after installing code runner. So it runs that for me. Uh, right now we don't see anything. So say I add a console log where I call the make ID function, pass the length as eight. Now I can run this piece of code using code runner. And that way I can test small snippets of my code or even a complete file very quickly and on the fly. The last extension that I want to talk about is Colorize. It's a simple application that can come very handy for front-end programmers. So what this does is whenever I'm writing CSS and I write the code for any color, it will help me in visualizing that color in the code itself. Say I give it a color with RGBA. So it shows me how that color will look. Similarly, I can do RGB, it will show that it's blue. It supports HSL also and if I give a color in hex code, it supports that too. So with that, you don't have to go back to the page to see how it will look. You can see it here itself. Let me know about your favorite extensions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more learning content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.